Okay, this has been a really interesting year for me because never in my entire year of being writing about, I've been writing about technology for years and years and years, and I never thought I'd be interviewing 10 year olds and 11 year olds all about software. So that's kind of really cool for me. So you guys exploded on the scene in the last year. Uh, Harry, you with your game that went to, you, you went to the top of the charts for your Mac game. Uh, Con, I met you this year as well. You're, you're, you, you two are part of a set of triplets. And uh, Shane, you, you, uh, were, you, I remember writing about you did your first Linux install when you were six. Now you're quite a tall 12 year old, right? And it's, we're joined by uh, Alan Paniodkov, uh, who is also a programmer. And I understand you specialize in Java, is that right? So I'm going to ask each about today. You're at the Web Summit. Uh, you got to do a whole panel and stuff like that. So I suppose I was just catching up with you is really where you're at with your, with your projects and stuff. So Harry, start with you. Uh, well, uh, right now I'm in the middle of development of uh, a new game for iOS called Robot Run, uh, which is um, I'm planning it's going to be launched by uh, by Christmas anyway. So uh, development for it is going pretty well. I've been working on it for the past four or five months. So yeah. what, what platforms will it be on? Um, iOS, as in uh, iPhone and iPad first, but uh, then maybe I might do one for Mac and Android. So. That'll be and Khan, you were doing a uh, web page about saving trees. Does that remember? How's that going? It's good, going well. We obviously coded up a new version of the website and we did a good revamp. It's got dropped on menus and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, which I was working on over the summer. And uh, I met uh, and I've met David Amber and all this kind of stuff has been going well for me. And I've met a few interesting people and I've got a few things behind us now as well. But the uh, bank and stuff is getting less annoying. <laughs> And Shane, uh, you, uh, you, you're, you're pushing ahead with your own business, uh, Libramatic. Yes, so the free version was just launched uh, the other day, so uh, we've had a load of people signing up to that. So what it is, is it's basically a fully automated smartphone and cloud-based library management system. So it's a bit of a mouthful, but um, what it is, is basically in a library at the moment, if you want to add a book to the management system, everything has to be put in manually. So this is really hard in librarians. So what we've done is basically on a smartphone, you just scan the book's ISBN using a camera and using the camera on the smartphone. Then we go off to the web and get all the book's information and it's then stored in the database so it can be checked out or checked in again by scanning the user's uh, library card and the book's ISBN. And Alan, you're, you're new. I, I haven't met you before, so uh, tell me a bit about yourself. You're 10 years of age, are you? Uh, well, what do you work on? Uh, what? What do you work on? Is it Java? Uh, yeah, I work on Java and a few other programming languages. Um, I've uh, I have my own website. Uh, it's, there's not much on it. Uh, there's just uh, like around four uh, things on it, and um, I that's all I've made. That's public. What kind of things would you like to build in the years ahead? I mean, you, you uh, I understand you make lots of games, and what other what kind of things would you like to make in the next little while? Uh, I'd like to make a proper game that actually is playable and published to earn money, um, and to just be a software developer. And you're all uh, members of the Coder Dojo, or you, you joined you went joined a year ago. You learned to code there, Harry, for the first time in last, last year. Tell me all about what the Dojo means to each of you guys in terms of uh, what it's done for you in the last year. I'll start with you, Harry. Um, uh, well, for me, it's um, it's it's pretty much hard to explain, but um, uh, I um, I really can't imagine not going. Uh, a world without Coder Dojo now because I'm going there every week. I'm teaching Android development in the core Coder Dojo now. Um, it helped me launch Pizza Bot and Pizza Bot Seasonings, and uh, some of the people there are being a great help with Robot Run. So it it's a it's a very a big thing for me. Coder Dojo. Is. Uh, I think it's really good. Uh, it's really um, good for so many people to. Find have somewhere to go where they can meet other people like them who have the same interests as them in all these type of uh, things. Uh, I think it's also it's really good because let's say I, I met Bill there and that and then we then we formed Con and stuff like that. It's really good uh, for people who have individual interests to allow them to show them to people and um, and uh, uh, and display them and you know let, let make themselves known in ways that you know you won't be able to sh uh, do otherwise. And they're starting up one in Uganda somewhere now and be with and uh, giving access to computers to kids who would never have access to anything like that otherwise. It's just really now, it's, it's, it's just, it really helps improve people so much. It's really good. Shane, you're kind of already on your way with software, but 
Dojo came along uh, around the same time. You, well, you, joined, you were already working on coding, I suppose, before that, were you? So um, it's been great for meeting new peers and like-minded people. So the fact that it's free and anyone can come along means you can meet so many new people, which I think is great. Alan, what do you think of Coder Dojo? Well, I think it's very good to find people that uh, can help you with things that you're doing. Otherwise, they're like, for me, I don't have a lot of contacts that can help with game development. Uh, so Coder Dojo has been a real help with game -wise. Guys, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it so much. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. That's good.